Good evening. Their cash is gone and their dreams may be too. More than 70 football players from all around the country who play for the New Mexico Prep Bandits claim that their coach has blindsided them. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live in the Newsplex. Take the Prep players have finished high school but because of academic or other reasons didn't get a college football scholarship. They pay to come here and play football against JV and junior college teams. They go to school at Central New Mexico Community College. Now see and does not sponsor the program. It's one man's independent operation, and tonight his players say he's abandoned them. The bandits are starting over. Last night, Coach Farasi Norman told players the gig was up. Coach just basically said, give him his stuff back. He's now closing the program. Willie Clark stepped in as the new coach. He hopes to keep these players' dreams alive. We want to be able to compete be able to get these kids filmed and give an opportunity for another school to take a look at so they can only not advance their educational career, but their athletic career as well. Kids from all over the country pay between $1,000 to $2,500 to play for the Bandits. They signed contracts knowing their money was non-refundable, but say they were promised 12 games and have only played two. Joshua Pettis is now out of options. I had to hustle up to get the money I did have to come down here. You know, he just he just taking out our pocket like that. Is he doing this wrong? His teammate Louis Amari is still in shock. Uh, speechless, I guess. I, everything that he had promised me it hasn't happened. Louis's dad, Bill, also stepped up to help. He says what was once a stepping stone to help his son get into a D1 football program is now a nightmare. I will be pursuing several legal action. He kind of messed with the wrong person. And he's determined not to let it happen again. For me, it's not really getting the money back, um, but to shut him down so he doesn't do this to anybody else. And they aren't shutting down. <laughs> the team still plans to play its next scheduled game on Saturday. It's free time. They just don't know how they'll pull it off. He has all the equipment uh, and the uniform, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard for us to try to still survive, but we're going to do the best we can, and I wish I had those boys' uniforms for Saturday so we can be able to go out there and compete. The Bandits didn't even have a football until a local store donated two for the cause. Coach Clark says their next goal will be finding pads and helmets for all the players. Dick, back to you. Okay, Alex, the question is, where is Farasi Norman? We tried two numbers for him today. One's been disconnected. The other went straight to voicemail. Albuquerque police say they are investigating.